I have another plan. If this works, you're really going to like this one, boys. And, you know, the 3% girls that are watching. Shout out to you girls. <laughs> I did get an email, actually. Someone sent me an email saying that they didn't appreciate um, the gendered language that I use to address the audience. Typically, boys and guys and stuff. This was a while ago. Um, and before, I know a lot of people will, will sort of uh, ridicule that. Uh, before that happens, uh, just consider for a moment, it does make sense uh, to a degree if you're already part of a marginalized community within uh, the grand strategy space. As we know, it's quite male dominated. It's not to say girls don't play uh, the game, but they tend to not engage with the community as much for fear of backlash. That's sort of stand across the entirety of gaming, but I think it's kind of prevalent a lot more in um, strategy games. Uh, and I think as a community, we should probably do a little bit better um, with that. That's sort of my serious moment there. Uh, but. On another adjacent note, I think the language that they use in terms of guys and boys and stuff, i it sounds strange, but guys and boys to me is a gender neutral term. Uh, I, I say that a lot to my uh, uh, female friends as well. Um, like, all right, boys, how's, how's it going? Uh, it, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, so I, I raised this because it's kind of interesting. I want to see what people use as sort of like a, a general um, group. Um, I'm still going to be saying boys and, and guys and stuff just because that's naturally what I do in a, in a gender neutral group setting. But I wonder if there's any sort of weird idioms or weird sort of sayings that you say within your own groups um, that has come to pass. 